Florida's head doctor says the state will be the first in the nation to recommend that healthy kids should not get vaccinated for COVID. State Surgeon General made the announcement yesterday during a roundtable discussion organized by Republican Governor Ron DeSantis. It included doctors who criticized coronavirus lockdowns and mandates. The CDC and the American Academy of Pediatrics do recommend that COVID vaccine be administered to all children five or older. The Florida Department of Health is going to uh, be the first state to officially recommend against the COVID-19 vaccines for healthy children. Okay, first of all, let me just say that it is shocking to find out that Florida has a Surgeon General. Yeah, I, I didn't know they had that. This is like finding out that TJ Maxx actually has someone who organizes the clothes. What? What do you do all day? Have you seen that shit? But I mean, of course, the Florida Surgeon General is gonna have some weird opinions. He's the Surgeon General of Florida. Come on, his other health recommendations are like, alligators can't hurt you if you're drunk. What did we expect? It's Florida, people. And don't get me wrong, I, I, I do get, I do get where some people are coming from on this issue. It is true that with a few rare exceptions, COVID is not a problem for kids. I understand that completely, especially since kids are little germ factories all the time. Yeah, coronavirus doesn't make them more sick than they already are the 360 days of the year anyway. I get it. But don't forget how vaccines work. The more everybody gets them, even people who are not vulnerable, the less the virus can spread, which protects people who are vulnerable, and it helps prevent new variants from emerging. That's the main thing. Yeah, because what, you thought Omicron was gonna be the last variant? No, not the way the shit is still spreading. Next thing you know, the, the new variant is probably gonna have legs. Yeah, it's gonna infect your lungs and kick you in the nuts. Pow, <laughs> ah! Here, here, here's the thing though, man, this is what people are not considering, Trevor. There's gonna be some strong kids coming out of Florida over the next two decades. <laughs> Cause like, look at what they, they up against, man. You up against COVID? You up against the toxic algae down there? The water is all crazy down there, too. I'm telling you, man, it's gonna be some strong alligators. You gotta run from gators. It's gonna be some strong kids. That's what they're doing. Strong or mutants. That's, that, that also means strong. Mutant is another word for strong. I agree gonna with be you. Some I, can't, strong, I can't fight you on that. Some strong, unvaccinated children. I might move my boy down there and teach him some football. All right, let's move on to the other pandemic that people keep insisting is behind us, racism. And I know, I know there are all sorts of things that make people go, oh, is that really racist though? Is it really racist to touch a black person's hair or say the N word during karaoke? I mean, yeah, you were singing Sweet Caroline. There was no need for it, but <laughs> there is one thing that absolutely everyone can agree is racist and that's lynching. And now that is finally official. The U.S. Senate has just now passed a bill making lynching a federal hate crime. The Emmett Till Anti-Lynching Act was passed unanimously last night. That bill is named for the 14-year-old whose brutal torture and murder helped to spark the civil rights movement. And it designates lynching as a hate crime punishable by up to 30 years in prison. Congress had previously failed to pass anti-lynching legislation despite over 200 attempts since 1918. You see, people, this just goes to show that both political parties can come together and pass common sense legislation. They just need 104 years to do it. You just gotta be patient. And you know what that means? Prescription drugs, you better watch out because your price is going down in the year 2122, 2123. We'll be alive, we'll be alive by then. We'll still be alive. Well, the prices will, then they'll definitely be down. <laughs> you know, if you ask me, it's actually no coincidence that they couldn't pass this law for 100 years and then Mike Pence almost gets lynched and suddenly lynching is a hate crime. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit of a coincidence, don't you think? Maybe, maybe that's how black people can solve all their problems. Like, I'm not saying I want Mike Pence to get beaten up by the police. I'm just saying if they tased him once or twice, it would probably help speed things along.